My name's John Keady. I'm a professor at the University of Manchester, and I also hold a joint appointment with the NHS Hospital Trust. I've worked in Manchester since 2006, and uh, I'm a mental health nurse by background. My very first exposure to any mental health nurse training uh, was with people with dementia. I trained in the asylums back in the early 1980s. It was something that we weren't supposed to enjoy. It was an atmosphere of, of the institution. People were trying to communicate through that haze of, of really institutional misery. I just was really fascinated by the environments that we, as caring people, had created for those people with probably the, the least voice I've ever seen. But what I loved about that work uh, and what I held on to from those very early days um, was that very much that human connection that you could have with somebody. Uh, a touch, just looking at somebody, trying to, to calm somebody, um, trying to see beyond the environments or the world in which they lived to connect with that person's past. Uh, I found that um, an enormous challenge and an enormous privilege. When I wrote my PhD up in 1999, when I, when I finished my, my mental health nurse training and became a registered mental nurse, uh, all I wanted to do, as I said, was work in dementia. So I worked on an inpatient assessment unit. That's what I did in, in, in the summer of 1986. Um, but I, I wanted to do something on the ground that would be a little bit different. I wanted to try and do something with people with dementia which valued them as human beings. And I'm very loath to say that other people didn't. I think the, what it taught me really strongly was the environments of care are crucial. They're absolutely essential. And whatever we're building now, uh, I mean, my mid-50s, in 20 years' time, I'll probably be using a very similar facility. In 2008, I, I, I was able to develop the Dementia and Aging Research Team back at the University of Manchester. It's an interdisciplinary uh, research team. Our projects have nearly always been driven by those central core values of, of enabling people with dementia to, to have a voice in their research. Just changing that, that, that participatory nature of research. So we see the value of experiential knowledge about how they interact with the world around them. It's always been a trade-off partnership between the knowledge that we have as clinicians, the knowledge that research is also driven by evidence, but trying to make sure that the evidence is supported through, the, through that personal experience of those who live with dementia. I think we have to see the value of partnerships through maybe some of the projects that people with dementia themselves are developing, is to see the actual growth and achievement that people with dementia can have. You know, it's not about saying that all dementia work is good and don't just do this and everything's going to be nice with the world, but it doesn't mean to say that they can't have a future. So part of this work is to say that there are growth experiences that can happen, that it's up to practitioners to understand the value of knowledge but most importantly for us, it's personal knowledge. It's the knowledge that's held by the person. Some of that may come out in the, in the, in the present, but we can create new memories. And I think going forward, that's very much what we'd like to do.